Okay, so this package arrived today and it should be a moisture tester that I bought off eBay. So you basically stick it into the soil for your pot plants and it tells you how dry or how wet the soil is. So that gives you a better idea of whether your plants need to be watered or not. Um, this should also be a, a pH tester, I think. So I think that tests the acidity of the soil and it should also be a light tester or light detector or whatever. But yeah, let's open this up. So there are uh, testers which are just like this. I'm pretty sure they're made by the same brand. They look exactly the same, but they only just test the uh, the moisture of the soil. Um, but this one, it's got like three different things on it that you can test, and it was about the same price. So I thought, well, I might as well just get this one then. Even though I've, I've mainly just bought it to test the wetness of the soil, I don't really. I don't really need one to check the pH levels of the soil, or the sunlight really. But I thought I might as well get the one with the extra features since it's not really that much more money. And here it is. So it's a three-way soil meter. And it says, measures moisture content of soil, lets you know when to water, helps you determine if plant is getting adequate light, helps you control pH level in soil, no batteries needed, indoor or outdoor use. And let's look at the back. It's got instructions there as well. So it tells you how to use the moisture feature on it, the light feature and the soil pH feature. And then we've got a moisture and light readings chart here. So it's got different plants. Uh, so for example, Christmas cactus, it's got 100 to 1000 there under L. So I'm guessing that's to do with light. And then you've got M for moisture. And it says three. Remove probes from soil and wipe clean after each use. Whoops, didn't have that on camera. Yeah, let's open this. there it is. So yeah it says three three way meter there. I think I think that's uh, is it to test the light or is it actually like solar powered? It's powered by light, I'm not really sure. Uh, so you can see on there it says uh, dark light. Then you've got these numbers there for the lighting. And you've got another thing here for dryness and wetness, it says moist and alkaline there, acidic. And then you've got the button, so moist, light, pH. Now let's see the back of it. Directions, insert probe tip to root level, always clean tip after use, made in China. And there's your, there's your two prongs there. Uh, hmm. So uh, yeah, let's test this out. All right, so let's check the moisture of the soil for my flamingo flower. It's been quite a while since I last watered it, so the soil should be pretty dry now. So let's stick the prongs into the soil. And you just gently push down. Um, if the soil is very hard or maybe the prongs hit something in the soil and it's it's difficult to push it down you shouldn't really force it because you could break the prongs but yeah let's zoom in and you can see the needle has gone up a bit so it's still a bit moist and before I actually used this for some reason I was expecting the needle to take quite a long time to move like you'd stick the prongs into the soil leave it for a few minutes and then it would give you the reading but the needle actually moves really fast. And let's check the pH. So we'll just switch the switch over to pH there. Yep, very alkaline. So here is a plant that I actually watered last night. So the needle on this should go all the way over to the right. So 
Let's, uh, let's check that soil. Yep, fully wet. And you can see just how quickly that needle moves. Let's uh, check the pH. It's a little bit more alkaline than the, uh, the soil for the flowering flamingo. Okay, so now I've got it facing the sunlight. Let's switch the, uh, the switch over to light and we'll see just how sunny it is. Wow, that was really, really quick. Switch it off. Switch it back on. Wow. And I'll just leave the switch where it is on light and let's just turn it around against the light and you can see the arrow moved really quickly there. And we'll turn it around like that. And then turn it back. Cool. And so after you've used this, the instructions do tell you to wipe the uh, the prongs. And I think that's because if you just leave the prongs wet, they'll uh, they'll rust. And let's zoom in a bit actually. And yeah, if they rust, they might not work anymore. But it's pretty difficult cleaning them with one hand. But this is what I'll use: just a kitchen paper towel to uh, to clean the prongs. So, uh, so yeah, I'm really pleased with this. It's uh, it's really effective. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.